All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to unlock the brand new purple Ripley skin style for absolutely free. I'm going to go over every single challenge you need to do in order to unlock this brand new purple Ripley style. He's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first one is to earn gold scavenger medals by searching chests, llamas, or supply drops. For this challenge, you need to get three gold scavenger medals. So you're probably wondering, okay, well, how do you get a gold scavenger medal? Well, you need to search at least 12 chests, llamas, or supply drops within a single game. Now, that might seem like a lot at first. However, 12 chests or llamas or even supply drops too really isn't that hard to get. For this challenge, I recommend dropping like on the outskirts of the map, you know, any points of interest that are on the edges of the map where no one will go. So that way you can have a whole POI to yourself potentially and just open a ton of chests. Like I said you need to do this three times to get three golden scavenger medals the next challenge is to achieve ar specialist accolades in different matches for this once again you need three of those special accolades and in order to get an ar specialist accolade it's pretty easy to do you need to deal at least 250 damage to an opponent with an assault rifle in a match so all you have to do is use an ar and deal at least 250 damage to get one ar specialist accolade and if you do that in three different matches then boom you're done i mean that's three kills minimum per game like come on now moving on to the next challenge land in a named location in different matches now this is pretty straightforward if you don't understand this i'm sorry i can't help you all you have to do is drop at any named location on the map as soon as you open the map all the named locations are there you can't miss them next deal any damage with a placed trap to an opponent for this challenge you only need to deal damage with a trap one time now for this i kind of just recommend naturally playing the game i mean throughout the game you probably use traps and eventually you will deal some damage with them now you don't have to get a kill with the trap all you have to do is deal damage with it one time moving on to the next challenge and that is to destroy slurp barrels slurp trucks or slurp silos for this you need to destroy at least 10 of any of those items now for this i would obviously recommend dropping at slurpy swamps there is a whole bunch of barrels there and like i said you only need to destroy 10 of either one of those so i would recommend just running up to all the piles of barrels and just start hitting the shit out of them all you need is 10 barrels and boom that challenge is done the next challenge is to swim 50 meters in under five seconds for this you need to only do this one time now for this challenge i would definitely recommend swimming downstream especially with a hard current that's going to be the easiest to do and obviously i would recommend doing the whole jump up and diving thing you know what i'm talking about to go as fast as possible the next challenge is to visit lazy lake and slurpy swamp in the same match while riding in a motorboat for this you only need to do that one time now for this challenge i really don't have too much advice besides trying it in team rumble because obviously no one really cares in team rumble but if you want to be brave enough and do it in solos duos or squads i guess you could i mean i wouldn't recommend it obviously but the challenge itself is pretty straightforward start at lazy lake and at slurpy swamp all while riding in a motorboat next is eliminations at risky reels fort crumpet or hydro 16 for this you need to get a total of five eliminations at any of those spots now on your screen right now is a hand Dandy, dandy little map here showing you guys where all three of those locations are fort crumpet is over there in the top left on the outskirts of the map risky reels you guys know where that is right in the middle and hydro 16 is down there towards the bottom left of the map now for this challenge i would definitely recommend going risky reels it is definitely the most popular spot out of these three locations and with this challenge out right now i guarantee you guys there's going to be a lot of people dropping at risky so that's where i would recommend getting all of those eliminations the next challenge is to search the hidden gnome found in between log jam woodworks a wooden shack and a bucket tree now those locations may sound a little weird however this map right here shows you exactly where you need to go all you have to do is go right where the arrow is being pointed it's right in between holly hedges and slurpy swamp here's an image of what it looks like when it's just chilling there by the tree it's pretty easy to find it's just sitting in the grass there it's right on the edge of a swamp and if you go directly where the map is pointing then it should not be too hard for you at all to find this little gnome and finally catch a fish with a fishing rod a harpoon gun and an explosive weapon now obviously catching a fish with a fishing rod and a harpoon gun is pretty easy i would definitely recommend dropping in the center to do the fishing rod and obviously fishing at one of like the fish hot spots you know what i'm talking about harpoon is even easier all you do is shoot the harpoon gun at the fish hot spots however for an explosive weapon it kind of seems weird but you can also fish with them too if you throw grenades on a fish hot spot it works also if you just shoot an rpg at one it also fishes for you too so after 
after you do all three of those that challenge is complete and you finally have the purple ripley skin style but anyway thank you guys all so much for watching this video hopefully you guys did enjoy and i'll talk to you guys next time peace